Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Give me some of that dating foolishness. Uploading visuals, sir. Women need to step up to this as well as men because men can't figure out this mess of a culture by themselves. They need real help with this. Female professor explains how women are keeping themselves single. Empowered single women. Welcome to Manage Your Highlights Daily. In this video, we highlight a female professor and a recently published article by a female psychologist that gives us great insight into why it is women who keep themselves single. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do because we manage we she. And I, I'm more and more convinced by young men who tell me the pro you know the problem is most women they say most women don't want to date most young women don't actually want to date they say they want to they think they want to but what's it what happens is this this almost always happens to, to guys i know at bc and at other schools you ask a young woman out and she says yes but like that like uh, deer in headlights thing oh yeah sure oh great yeah that's great Within two days, she's texted you saying, this is just as friends, right? I'm not into a thing. I kind of blah, 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 blah. This is mysterious to men. It's not mysterious to me. I know exactly what's happened. That young woman has gone and talked to 108 of her closest friends. <laughs> and 106 of those friends have said, oh no, uh-uh, don't go out, no, uh uh I heard him once say something weird in history class. We mentioned the power of the sisterhood a lot on this channel, but the part that weighs the most in my opinion is the fact that these strong and independent women cannot seem to make decisions for themselves. How can you consider yourself independent if you cannot make decisions without depending on others? Fellas, never follow a woman's lead because she will lead you to your doom. Women in charge is a recipe for disaster because women are agents of chaos. Now women can follow, yeah, they can follow a script, they can take a test, they can do their job because that's already mapped out for them. That's the difference between being educated and being intelligent. Check this out. Splitting up your group is a high risk strategy, but if you do decide to send out an advance party, preparation, 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 it really is fundamental to good survival. The women have circled back to Coconut Beach for a second time. Having pushed through the jungle for two days, they're not one step closer to camp. These were women with jobs and college degrees and had the luxury of joining forces because two heads are better than one. Couldn't figure out how to get to their camp on a freaking island. A freaking island! Keywords. Could not figure out. That's what intelligence is all about. That's why school is not that hard because you get the opportunity to prepare. There are classes, you can ask questions, give Batman the time to prepare, and he can beat Superman. And you see what happens when there is pressure. They fight with each other, they quit on each other, they break down crying. Fellas, this is not about hating women. This is about understanding that women are not men. Stop the foolishness. Women should not be competing against men. They should cooperate and know their place. Some of these women don't want to recognize the differences until their skulls are cracked by a transformer. It's not a coincidence that women struggle in these survivor situations. They did one in the US, the UK, and one with the Netherlands and Belgium together. And each time, the men had to come to the rescue of the women because they would die on these islands. Women give the worst dating advice. Recently, this article came out called The Rise of Empowered Single Women, What Women Want from Single Lonely Men. The article came out as a reply to the article called The Rise of Lonely Single Men. You can see how the title of this article already messes women up. The title suggests that single women are empowered, but not lonely. If men are single, this means women are single too. 50% of Americans between 18 and 34 are single. Women definitely get more attention and have more sex than men, but this doesn't mean they are not lonely. Loneliness is on the rise and it's gonna impact both genders and it's gonna hit women harder. 
The psychologist that wrote this article saw this as an opportunity to tell men they need to step up and what women want from the single lonely men. And like always, they tell on themselves. Let's read. In the past, most women needed men for resources. They needed a provider. Now, with more opportunities, women have more independence and recognize that they do not need men in the same way women did in previous generations. Without such high stakes, women are raising the bar. We are no longer looking for a provider, but a partner and an equitable relationship. We want more. No. Women are still looking for providers. Women just want men to provide more. That's why women have a problem with men not earning at least the same, if not more than they do, while complaining about an imaginary gender pay gap. You can't make this up. Women have no idea what they want, but she is going to give us a list of 10 things women want. Here we go. Number one, we want to be treated as equals. Bullshit. The last thing women want is to be treated as equals. The dating game is the perfect example of how women shapeshift from modern women to traditional women. They pick and choose the benefits from each position. She quality is what women want. All the benefits of equality without the struggles, the disadvantages, the duties like fighting in the army. Number two, you want to feel seen and heard. Of course you do. Everything is about attention. That's why women can't handle the undefeated wall. Even the former supermodel couldn't beat it and was forced to go cold turkey from her attention addiction. Number three, we want our feelings to be respected and validated. I've said it in the previous video. When you study women, you'll figure out that the way they feel is the essence of why they do what they do. We should never, ever blindly respect and validate your feelings. Are you nuts? There are men in jail for not being able to pay child support for children that aren't theirs because women felt that these men were responsible. You don't hear anything about equality there. Just feelings. Get out of here. Number four, we want to feel safe and supported. Who doesn't? Next. Number five, we want to share core values with our partners. What are those core values? One of the reasons why men are confused is because your core values are all over the place because they are based on how you feel at the moment or what the sisterhood values at that time. Number six, we want to have the flexibility of having multiple identities instead of being confined to one box, i.e. wife, mom, caregiver. <laughs> There we go. You want to do whatever you want. You want the flexibility to be a hoe and a housewife at the same time. Or you want to have a whole face and when it's over, still be recognized as St. Mary. You want to get married, say wedding vows and break those vows whenever you feel like it. This is why women don't like the manosphere because we are telling men to protect themselves at all times. Don't you dare get married. You <laughs> women need us to be fools. We need to believe that a woman is going to be with us forever when we put a ring on it. Sylvester Stallone, come on. Number seven, we want to be part of the conversation regarding negotiating roles and expectations within the relationship. Women are acting like we are still in the Middle Ages or something. These effinists will give you this impression that men didn't consult with their wives. There are videos here on YouTube about marital conflicts. The reason why she mentions this is because she is not interested in doing housework because that feels like slavery, even though you have to clean your own house anyways. She needs the expectations within the relationship to be flexible so she can avoid accountability. Number eight, we want to have productive and honest conversations and healthy disagreements. Bullshit. Women don't want honest conversations. This is a psychologist that wrote this article. Women know. Women know if they are completely honest, they will burn their own bridges. A healthy disagreement can only happen if you think with common sense. You see it all the time. We just made a video about prenups and you see how women have no problem with a prenup if it benefits them. But if their shoe is on the other foot, now it's offensive. How in the blue hell are you going to have a healthy disagreement with someone that wants their feelings validated? The foolishness. This psychologist reminds me of this scene. You are the dumbest smart person I have ever met in my life. 
When I was in the trenches doing my research, I had some of the dumbest answers from college-educated women. College is overrated. Number nine, we want to establish mutual trust. Hate to break it to you, lady, but you're not doing a good job. We have data and statistics to back this up. Number 10, we want to feel emotionally connected to our partners. Of course you do. You've been feeling everything else, and that's the problem. The moment you don't feel anything or feel different, it's over. I've said it before, you don't build equity with women. Ask Stallone, 25 years in the bank, poof, gone. Let's wrap this up. Now more than ever, women are becoming aware of their inherent worth and are not willing to settle. The expectations are simple and straightforward. Hopefully, the single lonely men can step up. You see how women are keeping women single and why modern dating sucks? Women have priced themselves out of the market unrealistic expectations and the juice ain't worth the squeeze post an article with what women have to offer men in modern society that is worth having i bet she can't even make it to three man that's where we working protect yourself at all times this video has officially been highlighted